Hey guys, welcome to Digit and in this particular video, we're going to be unboxing the HyperX Quadcast standalone microphone. Now, HyperX is a brand owned by Kingston. They are into a lot of things, including computer components as well as peripherals, such as this particular microphone. Let's get started with the unboxing. This is a fairly simple packaging on the inside, which we can open up to reveal foam packaging and then you have cables so this is micro usb i don't know if you can see this to usb type a it's a fairly standard cable then you have the microphone itself which we'll get to later one of the mounting options now let's take the microphone out of its desktop configuration or the desktop mount if you wish to call it there's this simple adjustment knob on the side which comes off there's another one on the back sort of a catch and this thing comes apart hyperx also provides another mount this one is for i believe a 5 8 inch mount that you can use for affixing the mount upside down onto a boom so you can have the mic coming in from the top rather than from the desktop which is at the bottom but we'll get to that later or rather i think you get the point already now getting the microphone out of its shock mount is rather easy you have these rubber band not rubber rather elastic bands which can simply be pulled out of their little notches the entire thing comes apart now here are the interactivity options on or other the human interaction devices or buttons as we like to call them on the bottom is the gain adjustment knob so this allows you to alter the sensitivity of the microphone so in case the microphone is not picking up your audio properly you just bump it up if it is then you bring it down depending on what kind of disturbances that you're facing. On the rear, we see a 3.5 mm jack for your headset, which is a live feed. So in case you are speaking on the microphone, let's say in the form of a podcast or something, and you'd like live feedback of your audio, then you just stick in a headset into this particular port and you're good to go. Underneath that is the USB connector, which is what you use to plug this in into a desktop PC. And on the top, you have the polar mode uh, adjustment knob. Right now, it's set to the leftmost option, which happens to be, I think it's stereo. So stereo uh, in this particular configuration, stereo would mean that it's taking audio from the front, from the sides, but not from the rear. And the second option is omnidirectional, which means it'll take audio from all four directions. And then you have cardioid. So cardioid takes audio from the other directions and leaves out a bit of dampening on the front. And the last thing is bi-directional. So both the front and the back are dampened. So you only get audio from these sides. Now, obviously, if you're loud enough, no matter what side you're on, the microphone is going to pick it up. But these are always great things to have and they work especially wonderful if you're in a studio environment. And lastly, on the top, you have a tap button which allows you to mute the device on the fly and there's also some rgb not rather rgb there's an embedded light inside the microphone which you can switch on with the mute button so it's a good indicator as well that the microphone is active or not so that was the unboxing and a quick overview of the hyperx quadcast standalone microphone thank you for watching this video <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>